Thor Ragnarok not only rocks my socks off, it rocks my cock off. This is going to be a highbrow review. Let's get started. Are you sick and tired of movie critics saying this movie's fun and only saying this movie's fun over and over like 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 like, like, like movies should just be fun and nothing else? I go to movies to have fun. I don't know what you go to movies for, especially like colorful superhero movies about crazy demons taking over different planets with a giant green hulking monster. He's a Hulk. If you're sick of people saying the movie's fun, then you like BVS, and your opinion's worth less than shit. We are talking about a kid's Marvel movie, a family movie. My five-year-old son will love this. My eight-year-old daughter will love this. I'm old and still doing a YouTube show. How sad is my life? It's a hobby that I don't make much doing, so that's... That's even more depressing. When your expectations going into a movie are lower than dirt, it's easy to be surprised. It's hard to be pleasantly surprised. It's impossible to fall in love. If you saw a trailer, you know what you're gonna get. You like the Guardians of the Galaxy, you'll like this. Case closed, game over. I can't, for the life of me, understand that anyone would go to Thor 3 and be like, well, this wasn't a gritty, dark, really moody film like I thought it was gonna be. It's got fucking Jeff Goldblum in the trailer with like blue eyeliner and a thing down his chin for no reason. It is, it's got Thor cheering that Hulk's in the picture and they're friends from work. I, if you're going to this film, you know why you're going to it and you're gonna like it. That's, that's all there is to it. Is there a lot of jokes? Yeah. Are they funny? Yeah. There's a ton of good hammer work. It's hammer time in this one. He's whizzing it around. He's deflecting flames with it. Bad guys all around him. That's not a problem when he's got the hammer. Throws it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember being in high school and not having these issues to worry about. We'd go to movies like Rush Hour, which are fun movies. So yeah, I went to movies like Rush Hour, had a great time, left, talked about it with my friends and family. We laughed at the funny parts. We, we talked about the cool fighting and nobody at any point stopped us and said, oh, it's a fun movie? Well, Lottie freaking da. Thor Ragnarok gets it. It's having a ball. It wants you to join in on it. Is it uh, ignoring the past Thor movies? Hell no, it's making fun of them. But it's also respecting them in tandem. It, it knows how to poke fun at itself. It also knows how to pay respect. Because without those other Thor movies, we don't have these great characters. We don't have Thor, we don't have Loki, we don't have Odin, we don't have this great world that's now been you know, hit with every color of paint. The effects are cartoonish. The action's lavish. It's stylistic. It's explosive. It's bombastic. It's in your face. It's brutally honest. Now I'm just saying, now I'm just saying terms. It's riveting. It's captivating. Thor 3 knows exactly what it wants to be. A rip-roaring good time. A buddy road trip action adventure. It has a ton of fun with the canon that's been built up with all these characters. There's not a ton of cameos, but there's some, and, and they're done they're done well. Kate Blanchett is almost 50 and she's smoking hot. She's a fiery villain. I love her in this. One of my favorite villains in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which says almost nothing because they're usually pretty bad, but we have two of the best in the same film. Loki's having a great time. You can tell the actor's really enjoying this new, more comedic type of role he can play. Uh, Thor, Chris Hemsworth, this is the Thor he was born to play. This movie is so much better than it has any right to be, I guess, because it's coming off of two kind of ho-hum first outings. And there's clear Guardians of the Galaxy inspiration taken. You're going to hear a lot of that, too, for good reason. The soundtrack is very Guardians, uh, some of that 80s throwback music, and there's a lot of that synth wave mixed in, too, a little bit of that Stranger Things vibe going on with the music. This movie should really be called Thor Ragnarok. Oh, wait, it is called that. Oh, they got it right. It's fun. Oh, hi, Adam. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to Thor 3. I heard it's really fun. <laughs> fuck you, it's fun. Oh, what the fuck? You know what's not fun? BVS, you piece of garbage. And that's why it's awesome. 
And guess what? Justice League's coming out soon, and they're making it really fun. So there! That doesn't make sense. Which do, what do you want? So, we want it to be like that now? Shut up! What a dick! It's just fun.